Hello friends! Welcome back to another vlog. It is now Friday and it is May 17th. It's 6.30 p.m. and I tried weekly vlogging this week but I hated the footage for some reason. This vlog was just not doing my life justice or what I want my channel to be so I decided I was going to scrap that and make a weekly reading vlog for you guys instead because my boyfriend's out of town for a little while. He's going to help his friends for the weekend so I have the place to myself. I do work but it's a lot easier to work around vlogging and work when my boyfriend's not home. So yeah. If you guys didn't know and haven't watched my previous vlog, first of all my name is Megan. I read contemporary novels and yeah I'm 22. And it's finally my summer break. Basically, I graduated on Tuesday from my program and I'm off for a month. I only have two work shifts left, which is Saturday and Sunday, and then I'm really off for a month. I'm leaving for Mexico in two weeks, and that means it's prime reading time, so you guys should look out because my, my content is going to be quality for the next few weeks, which I'm super excited about. But anyways. I'll update you guys on my reading and also show you guys what I got today because I went shopping with my mom, brought out for lunch for Mother's Day because I haven't had the time to yet, and I got some snacks and some interesting things so I thought I'd like just sit down and chat with you guys. So yeah, yesterday I finished When It's Real by Erin Watt which was part of my TBR which if you haven't seen my TBR I'll put it up in the cards. Uh, this is a musical romance and it has a dual perspective narrative about Oakley and this girl whose last name is Bennett and I can't pronounce her first name so I'm gonna call her Bennett but this follows the story of Oakley and basically Oakley has this shitty reputation because he's kind of like a little bit too extreme in everything he does he sleeps around he gets drunk he uses drugs and it's kind of like dampering his image and stopping him from exceeding in his music career so they make him date this irregular girl and that girl is Bennett. She only agrees to it because she needs money to send her brothers to college because her parents has passed away and they didn't leave any money for their family and so it's their story. It's kind of like they hate each other at first obviously they become a romance. I loved the conflict in this. I thought it was very realistic for this kind of book. I love the two main characters. I love being in their heads equally. The writing in this was so fast paced, so fun. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I love the family elements and I highly recommend this. Once I actually sit down and film my musical romances um, recommendation video, I'm for sure putting this one in. So if you guys are looking for anything good to read, pick this one up. And I just then decided to read Once and For All by Sarah Dessen. It wasn't actually on my main TBR, but I saw it on my shelf and it kind of spoke to me. And I'm trying to keep a lot of my reads for when I go to Mexico, which I'll show you guys after. But basically, if you guys don't know, this is my first Sarah Dessen book and it follows the story of this young girl. Well, young girl, she's like a teen, obviously this is young adult. But um, her mother's in the wedding planning business and she assists her mother in the work and it's kind of like her not believing in love because she's seen so many weddings fail and just no one in her family has had successful relationships. Her mother and her father didn't really get along and I think it's kind of like told in past and present where she talks about what has happened with this boy in her life a year ago and it kind of talks about her life now. Um, I'm a little bit confused and to be honest not very impressed right now but a lot of people say that her newer works aren't all that impressive. Maybe it's just because I'm only 70 pages in but I'm a little bit confused. Not a fan of the main character as of now so we shall see. So yeah um I did bring some books home. One of them is from Sarah Des uh, some books from home. One of them from Sarah Dessen and it's Along for the Ride. I have a lot of her books that are unread because I found them at thrift stores and this one kind of sounds more up my alley for now from what I read from the synopsis because there's so many books from Sarah Dessen I don't really know where to start. If you guys have any favorites and want to recommend I'll listen to your recommendations but I got this and I also brought um the Edge of Never and The Edge of Always, which are companion novels or like sequels. This is the first one. It's a new adult novel and I have gotten them on book outlets and I kind of want to read more new adults. I'm in the mood for like steamy, um, somewhat dramatic reads. This follows Cameron Bennett. Hmm, I just read a book about a Bennett. And basically, 
she decides to leave her life she knew, she meets this boy, they probably get together, this is a continuation of the story. I think it's going to be drama filled but kind of good when you want something a little bit more steamy. So I brought these with me, not that I need anything because looky here. These are like my shelves right now. This is a recent purchase. It's by Ali Novak. You'll see that in my next haul video. Same as Love Songs and Other Lies. It's another um, musical romance I want to read. And all these books I'm trying to save for vacation, but I got on Tuesday and like Wednesday. This is a fantasy. This is a Tuesday release from May 14th. Everybody's been raving about it. This was a book outlet book that I really want to read. The Unhoneymooners is an adult romance. Small Town Hearts is another uh, young adult romance. Don't Days Rosa Santos was a May 14th release that I'm like one of my most highly anticipated books. Daisy Jones and the Six just because everybody's been hyping the crap out of that book. I also got Final Draft recently, Cersei with Fire on High, um, The Sun is also a star, like I got a crap ton of books, I also got The Warrior of the Wild I need to read, like I, I got books to read for sure and I'm very hyped about all of them. And I also have the time for all of them which is very convenient now, um, so yeah, let's talk about food and snacks and all that kind of stuff. First of all, I found two pairs of shoes today um, that were on heavy sale. I got these sneakers, which aren't like the best sneakers ever. They are um, Skechers, and the thing I don't really like about them is the glitter, but basically these are $25, and I needed new work shoes because I work in retirement homes. I clean retirement homes. I'm up all day. Skechers are very comfortable for my feet. So for $25, I thought they were cute. So I got those and I'm like super hyped about them. Uh, I mean, I don't mind the glitter and once they're on my feet, they look nice. I just thought they looked a little bit weird on the display, but I'm very happy about that. And what I'm even happier about are these a beautiful, I can't even show you guys. Beautiful Adidas shoes. They are white. They are stunning. Um, I usually wear Converse all the time, but they got super dirty and these were like um, on like heavy sale. They were like $28. So I got them and I'm so excited to wear them out. I really love the style. They go with everything. I'm very pumped. Like, look how cute you they look I love this style I love it. it's like rose gold on the sides big fan so we got that and I got a bunch of food which fun fact this is like the best popcorn ever and it's sold at Costco which I went with with my mom but they come only like twice a year or like three times a year so we got like nine bags of this and my mom kindly gave me one it's jalapeno popcorn and honestly if you guys have this anywhere near you get it eat it you'll thank me later it's like the best reading snack too hello friends outfit change because i just finished filming a haul video which i know i just filmed one like a week and a half ago but because my hair was already done i got my nails done by my mom as well my gel nails and i was just feeling like i wanted to work harder on my youtube i decided to film a haul video and yeah, I'm gonna import the footage and probably up, um, like upload the footage while I clean the apartment and then I'm gonna work on it and then probably just do a little bit of reading and binge a lot in order because that's what I'm in the mood for. So yeah, that was just my little update for y'all and this angle is great. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm feeling a little bit weird but very inspired at the same time which is probably why I want to clean like my apartment um I want to like declutter the place a little bit and I just think that because I'm on vacation now I'm kind of like inspired to be working more on my lifestyle and um the changes I want to bring to my life and YouTube is one of them. I've been doing YouTube on and off for like three years now and I think I have the potential to grow and just have a hobby which I really want to work on. YouTube is definitely it. I love reading. I love connecting with people in the community so I think I want to put all my efforts into YouTube. I also want to get back in shape. I just I want to change a lot of things in my lifestyle and I think I want to start um, making myself a priority again which is not the aim of this vlog but 
I'm feeling inspired. I want to let you guys know so I hold myself accountable. Also, I'm wearing these shoes I just got inside because I want to break them in, but aren't they just so cute? I hope they stay whiter than my Converse did because mm, they be dirty. So yeah, peace. Another outfit change because I decided to get comfortable. Uh, I'm chilling with my little bunny friend right here and I decided screw it. I'm not gonna start cleaning at like 9 p.m. So what I'm doing instead is I grabbed some snacks including my favorite candy, my favorite chips and dip, and I'm going to have a law and order marathon. Um, I'm on season 5 on Prime because I couldn't find season 5 before, but I'm actually on like season 10. But it feels so good to be back in the world. Uh, love that show, Law and Order SVU actually. So yeah, I'm gonna binge that for a few hours and eat some snacks. I'll let my bunny roam around and tomorrow I'll get back on track. I'll wake up earlier before work because I only work at 1. And I'll do a massive clean read because I didn't read anything today. I just want to cool, take it easy, enjoy my little days off, it's vacation, I don't want to start stressing about cleaning, it's going to be whenever it's going to be, and instead I'm going to indulge in some good foods and hang out with the cutest pets in the world. So that's my last update for tonight, unless something spectacular happens, and I will see you all tomorrow. Hello friends, it is now like 11.40 a.m. on Saturday and I'm all dressed to go to work, but uh, I'm kind of like slowly dying of pain because my stomach has been getting so many cramps and it is like really painful to the point where I was like straightening my hair on the ground in a ball because like I don't know if like my period cramps are coming, which is probably TMI for some of you, or it's just like actual stomach cramps. I don't really know what's going on, but like it hurts and it sucks, but whatever, it's life. So I did bring myself some Tylenol and I also have this because I hurt my ear by accident on the inside. I scratched it too hard because of my allergies because it was itchy. So I got that and I did bring some allergy meds in case as well. Um, so yeah, I'm slowly dying, but I was watching vlogs this morning and someone was um, talking and I saw on their bookshelves that they had uh, the hardcover of Lucky in Love by Casey Wedge Wes, which I realize is one of her books that I don't own physically. I have read it on my Kindle, but I didn't like actually have it. So I went on Amazon and there was one book left, hardcover for $12, so I decided I would pick it up now and probably reread it and annotate it once I get it so it should be in next week. Other than that I didn't do any reading but um I will bring my book to work. I also uh let me I don't know if I can prop you guys down for a sec but uh if you guys didn't know Stalking Jack the Ripper is like my all-time favorite series and I need to reread them to read Escaping from Houdini so I decided to do like Aprilis uh, April from Aprilis Maximus I believe her channel is called where she uh splits it into different sections and reads a section every day so I divided it in five I need to read like 60 pages a day and I will annotate it because I read a paperback copy first but then I purchased a hardcover of the books so I'm gonna annotate them and yeah so I should read this today and I want to do the same with King of Fools but I split King of Fools up in seven sections as well as a bit of once and for all so I think I'm gonna pack all three of those in my work bag and go make my lunch and then I'll be off to work if I don't die first because I'm in so much pain so yeah I did manage to clean this morning though before my stomach cramps occurred so that felt very nice and yeah that's pretty much all I have for an update. You can see my feet in the background, which is kind of weird. Um, I'll probably update you guys once I am done at work.
Hello friends! As you may see by the lighting, it is much later in the day. It's like 10.15 at night now. I just came home from work and showered, which means I only have one day of work left before vacation, so great news. But that also means I have to wake up at like 5.15 tomorrow to get ready because I start work at 7 a.m. But it's fine! It's gonna be my last day. All is well in the world. Um, I did loads of reading today, which is surprising since I worked an eight and a half hour shift. But to update you guys, I continued reading once and for all. Can I put you guys down? Like, will this work? I guess I'll see. Um, once and for all by Sarah Dessin. Uh, <clears throat> I'm now on page 237, and I was at page like. 71 at the beginning of the day so I did make a significantly large dent in this and I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than I expected to. Um, the first 70 pages were kind of rough honestly not much was happening I didn't really care for the main character but as it turns out I think I just didn't really understand the main character and her story because as the story progresses we learn a lot more about her and I actually feel a lot more for her now. Um, we learn about like what happened in her past relationship and what happened with what is now her ex-boyfriend and it is very sad, somewhat shocking. Um, this book also talks about a lot of different things that I was not expecting to. Um, obviously there's LGBTQ elements in there. There's also talk of school shootings. There's talk about a lot of different things and different expectations from society. I think this book packs a punch a lot more than you expect like a YA wedding novel to, but I'm really enjoying this. This is probably going to be a four star read once I finish it just because the first 70 pages weren't up to my expectations but I'm really enjoying this. I will leave myself the end of this novel for tomorrow so that I can actually enjoy the ending. So that's that. And I also like briefly started Stalking Jack the Ripper and it feels so incredibly nice to be back in this world. I love the main characters so much. Um, I'm just on page like 17 and we've already been in introduced to Thomas and Audrey and I just love both of them and their banter starts from like the beginning which is awesome like I love it so much so I think I'm gonna read a little bit more of that before I go to bed but for now I'm gonna go and watch um, some contemporary -thon vlogs because um, I feel like it I love watching reading vlogs hence why I make reading vlogs but contemporary -thon vlogs are like the best because it's my preferred genre so it's nice to hear more people talk about contemporary during that time and vlogs are just amazing so I'm gonna go eat some snacks and watch a vlog or two and then I'll come back in the bedroom and keep going on this before I go to bed. I will update you guys tomorrow but I'm honestly so happy with the progress I made. So yeah, um, that's, that's it for my reading update. Happy I had one. Hello friends and welcome to the back seat of my car. It's basically Sunday and this is my first update of the day because I woke up at like 5 and my day has been a disaster ever since. It's getting better now. Um, it is now 11.30 and I'm having lunch. I just started my lunch break. Uh, today has been an episode. Basically, I started driving to work and I got some of the worst cramps ever so that was a thing and I had no Advil no Tylenol actually I don't take Advil anymore because I'm allergic to ibuprofen but anyways that's another story so I was already in pain and then I get to work and there's a freaking flooding on the ground of where we store all our cleaning supplies and our carts and everything because I clean retirement homes so I had to spend like half an hour um getting the water off the ground and like mopping everything up before my shift even started so I started at like 6 30 instead of 7 so that was like a bummer and then my pain just kept increasing it's just it's been a day um I sprayed myself with some of our products it's just you know when a day is meant to go bad it goes bad it's fine um 
I haven't really talked about this with you guys, but I joined this Facebook group that's all about like the book community and people just sharing bookish things, asking questions, um, showing pictures of what they got in the book, like as book mail. I'm loving it. I've been on there for like a week now and they had this post for like uh, Sunday positivity and it kind of made me reflect on how I'm still very grateful for my life. This is my last day before my vacation. So I'm taking it as it comes. Um, also, one of the nurses uh, gave me Tylenol, so I'm good on that. My pain has gone away, and yeah, it's time for my lunch break. Once I go back in, I have like two and a half hours left, and I'm done for an entire month where I can read, and I'm going to the beach, and it's just going to be so much fun, so I need to remember to be grateful. So that was just my life update. I have picked up uh, Stocking Jack the Ripper during my breaks today. I'm only like 40 pages in. Obviously loving it. It's my favorite book of all times. So I'm going to be reading that during my lunch break. Um, I know my car's a mess, but uh, I'll get around to it once I'm on vacation. I have a little bit of Caesar salad with some pita bites from Costco, which are the bomb. As well as, you can't forget, my um, soda. So, yeah. I'm going to go and eat and read and I'll update you guys probably on my reading before I go back into work. Hello friends, quick update before I go back in because I still have like two and a half hours left of work which is not a lot considering I'm off for a month after, like this is making my heart so happy. I'm on page 75 of this and I'm tabbing it like a crazy amount. Um, loving this more than words can say, obviously my favorite book ever. And I think I'm loving it even more this time around because when I read um, Stocking Jack the Ripper initially, I did not see the clues as to who uh, Jack the Ripper in this novel is. Obviously, it's not like historically accurate because this is fiction, but I didn't see any of the clues coming. So now that I know what happens at the end and who the person actually is, I started tapping them in my book and all like the little clues. And it's so fun to be like, oh, like Carrie was putting a clue here and a clue here. And it's so interesting to see how the story changes once you know what you're looking for and I feel like it's not oh, sorry my arm's tired it's not taking out of the enjoyment at all on the other hand um I am seeing a lot of different things and I also don't remember everything from this novel like the little details which is why I love tabbing it so much because I didn't annotate it the first time and I think I'm paying even more attention now so it's fantastic we'll probably finish this today or tomorrow um Hunting Prince Dracula, it is at my parents' house, so that means if I, I finish this, I'll probably want to read that, which means I'll have to drive there and get it. I'll probably bring Escaping from Houdini with me as well, and I think I'll keep Escaping from Houdini for Mexico. It's going to be like my first slash priority read for when I'm there, because I think that's going to be very enjoyable if I can not read it before I leave. And yeah, I don't think this vlog is going to make it to the actual week, so if you guys want to see me finish this, you'll have to watch my next weekly reading vlog, which will be fun because it's my first full week off. So much reading will probably get done. Also, American Idol finale tonight, which is always super exciting. I think I'm voting for Lane. Um, I wouldn't mind Alejandro winning, but I like Lane a little bit more. I'd just be upset for Madison. Not a fan of her. I mean, she, her singing is great. I just, in the three of them, she's like my least favorite. Lane is also my boyfriend's favorite since like day one. So it'd be pretty cool for him to see his favorite win. Mine was Jeremiah, if you guys are following American Idol. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty exciting. Also kind of heartbreaking because we've been watching it since the first episode. It's the first time I've actually followed through with a show. Um, so, promise on me for that. And, yeah, I'm going to pack up my stuff and go finish scrubbing some toilets and cleaning some kitchens. And then I will be a free bumblebee for the next month. Hey guys, it is now like 4.30, still on Sunday, and I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog now if I want to edit it and have it up for you guys as soon as possible. So I wanted to say thank you very much 
for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. As well as subscribe if you want to see more from me. A um, lot of fun stuff coming up. Obviously, I'm on vacation now, officially for a month. So the weekly vlogs are going to be great. Mexico is coming up. Lots of reading will get done. Just to wrap things up quickly, I did read about like 200 pages of this book um, during the weekend and also a little over 100 pages of Stalking Jack the Ripper so I, I'm pretty good with this. I'm like almost 70% done with this and almost 40% done with this so if you guys are interested in seeing my final thoughts in, on both of these um, look out for my next weekly read vlog so for now I'm just going to go relax enjoy some time with my boyfriend since he's home and go read some more thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys will have a great week bye